What's up boys and girls? Today we're going to do a video on the fuel system of an 800 high output Arctic cat. Um, I had issues storing the sled from last season to this season. We went to start the machine up. It didn't want to run. It actually wouldn't even kick. Um, so what we did first was I undid the connector to the fuel pump and I got a 12 volt battery and we jumped some power to it to see if we could get the pump to kick which we were unsuccessful so the pump had stuck from sitting season to season just for a peace of mind and to make 100% sure we put a little bit of fuel in the cylinders, the sled fired right up for a second, ran A1. So, I ordered a brand new fuel pump through Royal Distributing, like I usually do. And what I got was one of these quantum bad boys. Quantum fuel systems, and it's just a uh, it's just the pump replacement, not a complete unit. So you got to put the pump in the unit yourself. So to start that job, you're going to need to undo that wire connector that I've already showed you. You take your main fuel line off, then you need a one inch wrench, and you can get the uh, the brass fitting off and your lock nut off down there. Once you have those off, you open the tank, you lift this thing out, and you shove your hand down in the hole and you fish it out. So when you get it out, you're going to pull the smart valves and all. Um, these are pretty simple to check to make sure they're working. You just press on the center of them and make sure that they're not stuck in like that um, didn't have any issues there so I removed my old original pump uh, you get this unit out and this pump sits in here this way piece of rubber goes over this but I'm just going to shove it in to show you how it is when you pull it out of the sled and then of course your smart valves are down here so once you get that out the first thing you got to do is take this funny little lock ring off which you push with a flathead screwdriver on this top little nook the second thing you want to do is disconnect your wiring and do that next because you don't want to pull it apart and rip your connector off of your wire end so once you do that and you just grab a hold of it pull it off obviously take the smart valves off too and then everything same procedure to put it back together so I installed this new pump and the sled had a real hard time starting up, which I wasn't real happy with. Um, then I went to take it for a drive here, the last snowstorm we had, and all it wanted to do was bog and cough and choke, not working very well at all. And I said, well, geez, I went from having a fuel pump that did nothing now I have a fuel pump that, another thing when it started it was idling high, but I think that's just something else. But anyway, it was idling high. When you went to drive it, as soon as you put any load onto it, it was just bolt, bolt, bolt. So, I said, you know what? There's a guy in Amherst, owns Crossroad Cycle. His name's Lee, treats me really well. I called Lee up. Um, he sent me down a complete whole unit with my regulator, this whole thing with the pump installed, the smart valves, everything. 
sent it down to me for an awesome price <clears throat> so installed in the sled other than draining the line when I took the main line off uh, it only took a couple pulls and she was fired right up running fairly strong I want to point out another thing here to you guys um, when your fuel system is working properly in these sleds when you look inside of your gas tank you should see fuel spraying literally like everywhere you look. if you never seen it before you'll probably think that you have a broken fuel line or something well, I'll just give you a demonstration here totally normal that's actually what you want to see because that is the excess or extra pressure or extra fuel that's being pumped that the sled doesn't need and it's this regulator here that regulates it and basically the extra fuel just blows out of that hole back into the tank so what I've learned from this um, there's nothing wrong with Royal. There's nothing wrong with aftermarket parts. I'm pretty sure I just got a bad pump here, I think is the story. But um, I called Royal this morning. I had purchased this pump probably three months ago because I wanted to be ahead of the game and ready for season. Um, I called the representative this morning. He sent me um, a postal code number. I'm going to take this down to the post office in this box free of charge they're sending it back to their store they're going to test it and if it tests bad which obviously it's going to um, they're going to give me my 90 bucks back so 90 bucks compared to like I think this whole setup from Articat is something stupid like two thousand dollars but um, there's all kinds of part sleds out there on the market you know it's you're still taking a chance but for me, I've bought a lot of parts from Lee, um, from Crossroads, and I've never had any issues with anything I've bought from him. He's a great mechanic. He actually tests most of this stuff before he sells it. So, um, that being said, I got unlucky. Tried to take the cheap way out this way. Cost me a little bit more, but everything's replaced, and as you can see, there's no issues with starting it's just simply a matter of and the throttles right there which with the other pump this bad one that I bought even once I had it running it was almost like an old carb sled you had to kind of play with the throttle boom 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 to get her going so anyway she's fixed for now i just wanted to show you guys that there's not many good videos out there with uh you know the fuel system on these sleds and how they work and whatever but very straightforward and very simple you got a pump and you got two fuel injectors down here that's her and a regulator in between obviously so thanks for watching guys please subscribe that's the articat crossfire fuel pump